Hey everyone, it's Michael and Ruben from bullyingnow, bullyingnow.com.au bringing you all the dragons that I think Perth Mint ever made. Yep, we've uh, <laughs> we've stacked out our table, a little, even a few underneath as well. We're um, in them. <laughs> <laughs> wanted to do this one because uh, it's, it's been a while since we've dragged everything down. Normally I say, oh, you know, I'll, I'll bring a couple of boxes down or something, but I had to, had to. there's, there's a pun in there, something about dragging these ones down. <laughs> um, but yeah, I had to had to bring all these just to, just to show people the, uh, the amount that we've got through. I'm just glad I have to leave early so I don't have to drag them all back again. <laughs> <laughs> that will be be a job for future Ruben, it's fine, you can sort that later. Um, but yeah, we've got some of the half ounce and the two ounce dragons here that we wanted to show off. They have arrived in stock. Now, I've been promising these um, would turn up any moment now for about a week and a half. So they um, they seem to uh, take a slight detour coming across the Nullarbor. Um, I don't know if it was weather patterns or what, but we seem to uh, have a delay getting after Brilliant. after being the person to uh to, to bring these down this end maybe the guy in the delivery was just like you know what i can i can save that for another day there's there's a lot of them here maybe maybe i uh, do that on the trip back yeah wouldn't shock me at all <laughs> so we thought we'd a you know have a bit of a, a gathering of the boxes but b we'll um we'll actually open these up and have a look at them yeah. in real life because you can look at the um the artist's impression till you're blue in the face, but it's actually when you get the coin in your hot little hands that you go, oh, okay, well, that's either, it. I really like that, it looks better, or that didn't translate very well. It did work out very well. We managed to get our hands on a couple for the original unboxing, but that's it, just to kind of see the, the scale and to let people know if they've uh, if they've placed orders for them that they uh, should they, hopefully uh, now start flowing yeah. through the system. Obviously there's a few to get through, but they should start flowing through from now. So slightly controversial design, Yes. Um, so there's a lot of back and forward. People love it, people hate it. And when we did that poll of mats, it seemed to almost be 50-50. Yeah, we did um, a, a poll on our stream on Friday and yeah, people people kind of went, mm, mm. <laughs> yeah, No, some loved it and some kind of went, yeah, not my cup of tea. Yeah, well, that's it. I, th I think it is very, very split down the middle. I think from a personal perspective, I think as a standalone design, I actually really like it. Yeah. I think as part of the Lunar series, Oh, I'm not in love with it. <laughs> it might grow on me like a fine mold, but that would be about all. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I just, I think, I, I know I've had people explain to me that the pearl is actually the egg. So, you know, it's still a, the mother and baby type situation, but I don't know. Yeah. Maybe I had something else pictured in my mind and I haven't managed to shift that yet. Well, I saw someone else's comment say that it is also very reminiscent of just the the previous series two design so I, I i do wonder if it's it's almost a case of we know this worked let's do it again <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe but i have to say as a standalone i need my eyeballs on for the half <laughs> yeah um, i was gonna say i haven't had a good proper look yeah, as a standalone uh, close up of these i shot actually of these quite yet. like it so that's the half ounce there but it's actually the two ounce that really grabs me because I, Matt and I talk about this, and, and Ruben as well, um, we talk about having the larger planchet size so you can get the more detail out of it. And it's one of the reasons I was disappointed Perth Mint stopped doing the 10 ounce, because that really was a stunning coin, or a stunning size. But the two ounce, the half ounce looks good, okay? But it hides, it hides detail, because they've, they've shrunk it down onto a much smaller planchet, you lose some of the detail. But when you actually bring it over to this two ounce, you actually get the detail standing out. You can see the individual scales far clearer. Um, you know, the the, um, the the pearl itself actually starts to stand out, even down to the the P150, which P125. Um, sorry, 125. I'm skipping 25 yeah. years into the future here. Um, you know, it, it stands out more. It's part of the design. The flames in the background, or whatever these actually are. Um, you know, the, the whole, you, you can see the, the water coming from the, the water dragon far more clearly. It just gives you that slightly larger size to give you that slightly better detail, better image on there. So I actually, I, overall, I actually quite like the, um, the two ounce. I'm really looking forward to seeing the five ounce. Um, and even the 10 ounce to a uh, sorry, not the 10 ounce, the kilo to a large degree. Or the 10 kilo. Well, that one, the, the 10 kilo I find fascinating anyway. In its own right. Yeah, yeah because it's such a, such a big design, such a heavy coin. They are handcrafted, they're just, they, they, they're a standalone thing um, anyway. But I, I, think they've done, I think they've done well with the design. I'm just not being convinced yet 
that it fits the lunar mold, if you like. Yep. But we have them in stock. So as Ruben said, if you've placed your order, um, you should see it uh, either being processed through and be available for pickup in the store any moment now, or alternatively, if you're waiting for them to be shipped out, um, you should see them uh, going through the processes and receiving a tracking number within a few days. It does take a couple of days to work its way through our system, but they are here, they will be processed, and uh, they will be out very, very soon. Good stuff. I think that's the end of, uh, of the unboxing side. I'm going to put you on the spot quickly with a question though, Michael, slightly unrelated. Yeah, um, have you seen the other designs that Perth have put out, some of their more numismatic stuff of the dragon? They're kind of... Oh, I have. Yeah. What, what are your thoughts on, the, I on those? I actually really like some of them. The coloured one particular, and I'm not a coloured coin fan. Yep. I love the, the coloured coin. I think they have... I think the colours that they've used and where they've applied them on the design really draws that design out yep. of the coin itself. Again, I'm still struggling with the does this fit into the lunar genre? Yeah. But um, as a standalone coin, as a you know, as a display a display coin in your cabinet, I love it. Yeah. Um, haven't seen the gilded yet. I will see that very very soon. Um, but I've got really high hopes with the gilded because they have, no one does a gilding like Perth Mint. They really know how to apply it to bring the detail and the design out. Um, so yeah, uh, um, some of the numismatic ones, if that floats your boat, I think uh, take, it's, it's well worth having a look at them and considering and buying them because I think they are real standouts this year. Good stuff. All right. Thanks for, my, uh, thanks for answering my slightly <laughs> off-topic question. Um, yeah, I'll let you go. We will see you all in the next video. Sounds good. See you soon.